and welcome to another exciting edition of your favorite program, The Diaspora. And I am your host, Coin Salah Adetumbi. As I'm sure you are aware, each edition comes with stories that are specially packed just for you. And this edition is one of them. As part of the initiatives of the Nigerians in Diaspora Commission, NIDCOM, and to mark Nigeria's 60th independence anniversary, NIDCOM has officially presented a compendium of over 600 Nigerians in the diaspora with amazing and inspiring success stories. More details to come shortly. And the National Gallery of Arts, NGA, and the Nigerians in Diaspora Commission, NIDCOM, has set up a joint committee to identify and document the best of the best visual artists living and practicing in the diaspora. A term of reference was presented to the Secretary to the Commission, Engineer Dr. Sule Yakubu Basi. Now this is your favorite program, The Diaspora. Please stay tuned. The Chairman and CEO of the Nigerians in Diaspora Commission, Honorable Abike Jabiri Arewa, has presented a compendium titled 600 Diaspora Icons at 60 to the Honorable Minister of State Foreign Affairs, Ambassador Zubeiru Dada in Abuja. The publication is targeted at celebrating diaspora icons around the globe, she stated. Please watch. This is our contribution to Nigeria at 60, and we're telling the whole world that I think we're celebrating the best in the world. Mm -hmm. What we need to do is just um, get a lot of things right, our values, our leadership, our attitude, and a lot of things. But this is a book that everybody should be proud of as a Nigerian. It's a book that, you know, when you look through it, it's amazing what Nigerians are doing all over the world. So the challenge is, if we are succeeding like, succeeding like this all over the world, how can we work with our home country to build the Nigeria of our dreams? So we are here to officially present to you this publication, plus 600 diaspora icons at 60, a publication of the Nigerians in diaspora commission. And I want to commend staff of the commission that worked tirelessly on getting this together. Honorable Minister, sir, we thank you for your support, for your uh, also goodwill message in this book, and for all you've done to support the diaspora and everything to make, to make us succeed in engaging them in the overall development and programs of the home country. So, Honorable Minister, sir, on behalf of the Nigerians in Diaspora Commission, I present to you plus 600 diaspora icons at 60. Diaspora icons at 60. Thank you so very much now um, to you and members of your team, your indefatigable team um, that has given so much life to the Nigerians in Diaspora Commission and for, the, and for all the efforts and activities that you've embarked upon, uh, culminating, as it were, in the production of this very, very rich document. I'm happy. Uh, that you've been able to identify this number, at least for a start. And like you rightly observed, there are only God knows how many millions of Nigerians out there deserving of this recognition. But this is a very, very good start. I want to commend your efforts and the, co I mean, the efforts of all the staff of your commission for this excellent job that has been started, believing that going forward, um, this will serve as an incentive to other Nigerians equally deserving of this recognition uh, and says that, and again, like you rightly put it, there is a need for Nigerians to appreciate what God has endowed us with, human capital. We have a lot of it in abundance such that we export to other countries. What now remains for us is for us to see how it is that we can harness all these potentials to give much more life to development in our country. Uh, I thank you once more for your efforts. And um, I want to encourage those of them in the diaspora uh, to regard this initiative and not to forget, like the president would say, to come back home and give back to their motherland. 
So once more, thank you so very much. Uh, we continue to, of course, do, give you all the encouragement and the, all the support that you need to continue to do what you are best at doing, recognizing people, I mean, Nigerians in the diaspora, and encourage, encouraging them to come back and join us in the development of Nigeria. Thank you so very much for your efforts. Thank you, sir. This will be a continuous thing. And uh, again, I apologize because there are so many Nigerians that are not excelling. And I don't mean just normal excelling mm. that are not being captured. So this is the first, like the minister said at the beginning. So every year we're going to have a publication like this. And I also want to appeal to Nigerians everywhere you know a Nigerian excelling also bring to our attention. So is the idea of saying that as Nigerians we're the best anywhere in the world. Forget about the negatives. Nobody will tell our story but ourselves. So this is our way of telling the world that this is who we are and we'll continue to celebrate ourselves as Nigerians wherever we find ourselves. Investment means, of course, bringing back what it is that you have, whether it be in your intellect, whether it be in, uh, in your, your, your expertise and whatever, to come and invest in the development of Nigeria. I guess this is what the, uh, the NIDCOM is all about, yeah. encouraging Nigerians in the diaspora or partnering with them to unfold the development of Nigeria. So I guess this is an excellent idea. Um, it's, it's good that it's coming as we celebrate Nigeria at 60. But of course, we'll continue to celebrate Nigerians in the diaspora even beyond that. In every day of our lives, we'll continue to celebrate them, to encourage them, to motivate them, to come back with their knowledge and all that they've, I mean, all that they've acquired out there, expertise in whatever field, to come back and plow it back, join the government in the development of the final life. Kudos to NITCOM. Keep up the good work. Now let's watch the presentation of the TOR by the Joint Committee of the National Gallery of Arts, NGA, and the Nigerians in Diaspora Commission, NITCOM, to the Chairman CEO of NITCOM, Honorable Abike Dabiri Arewa, ably represented by the Secretary to the Commission, Engineer Dr. Sule Yakubu Basi. Following are the programs and projects pro pro proposed by the Joint Working Committee to be presented to the Chief Executives of both agencies for ratification and approval so that we can um, keep the ball rolling. Number one, documentation of Nigerian artists in the diaspora. Um, we agreed that um, NEEDCOM will avail NGA details of Nigerian artists living in the diaspora for NGA's ongoing artist documentation project. So as you do your registration of Nigerians living in the diaspora, you just sift out the um, artists, the details of the artists, and give to us for our documentation project. The documentation um, project for of the National Gallery of Art um, will end up having a compendium of um, Nigerian artists. It's going to come out in a number of volumes as we go along. For the Nigerian bit of it, we've already mapped the country into six geopolitical zones, and then the diaspora is the seventh zone. Um, then two, the Nigerian Diaspora Day. Uh, NGA will collaborate with NITCOM to create visual representations that will drive home the theme of each year's celebration. This could be in the form of videos, graphics, photographs, and other art forms. Now, what we mean by this is every year, NITCOM celebrates National Diaspora Day, and um, each year there's a theme. And then what we'll do will be to have maybe artists create um, graphic representations, pictorial representations, or video art forms of the theme of each, each year's celebration. Then two, NGO will provide technical support for exhibitions and ancillary services. The exhibition during the Nigeria Diaspora Day we could um, decide on what th what bit of it, you know, for, according to the theme, we, will, we can have exhibitions more or less like what people would have, normally have, like road shows. And then the exhibition brochure will also need to pr pr um, produce a brochure of, of the distance, which will serve as a historical document that will be in the archives for that will tell the story to people who were not even at the event. Then there will also be live sketching of the year's theme 
or any other topics that may be determined for, by the planning committee of each year's uh, program. Then we'll also have light portrait um, um, drawings of any VIP who is willing to sit. You know, we may have the VIPs who are attending. There'll be artists who will be on ground to do live sketchings if the VIPs will avail them the opportunity to do so for them. And for any other person who will be around for them to do, who will um, um, be willing for them to do the live sketching. Three, the Badagri Door of Return. NGO will set up an exhibition pavilion at the event venue. We, I think Funke gave us some videos. We saw how the past venues, um, how the past events had been done. So we have an idea that in the middle of the event venue, we'll set up a, we'll have a marquee where we'll have an exhibition. And the exhibition, the theme, the structure of the exhibition will also vary from year to year. We know that, yes, we're talking about the return, so it will not be every year we'll be dealing with them. We'll just have a different subject matter every year, so that that will also be one of the drivers that will make people come. It will be one of the things that will make people look forward to that particular program, that each year they have something different to look forward to. Some of the, um, what's it called, the themes or the subject matter could, be, could include relics of slavery, cultural objects such as masks, masquerade costumes and any of those kind of any of um, things like that then for the nigeria diaspora investment summit NGA and NITCOM will collaborate by way of exhibitions which will be organized around the thematic focus of the year two interactive sessions between nigerian artists in the diaspora and their counterparts in nigeria four what we call art speak Art Speak will be a mentor, mentorship session for students who aspire to undertake a degree or profession in the visual arts, which will be anchored by the diasporan artists. What we intend to do with this is a lot of parents and a lot of children shy away from reading, um, studying the visual arts in the universities. You'll find that many people think that, oh, um, visual arts is for people who didn't really do well in school, those who didn't measure up to do, to study medicine or, um, law or any of those things, but invariably a lot of them don't understand the fact that the visual arts is a very viable um, profession. I think it was, um, there, there's, a, there's a Nigerian, a young Nigerian artist uh, living in the UK whose works so went on auction for about 2.5 million dollars. So when they get to know of things like this, they will understand the fact that artists are important and not just because of the money, Sometimes, um, like even um, uh, Boeing, you know, it's the artists that will visualize and see first. So they, to just let them understand the fact that it's a, it's 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 an it is as an important profession as medicine, law, or engineering. We thank you very much for uh, this suggestion. Uh, I think uh, another bullet point is actually to make the NGA one of the member of the local organizing committee. I think that that to me will be much more productive than 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 all all what you have said is correct. But uh, usually the LOC is an all uh, embracing committee with all those who are participating in one way or the other be members. So if we have this uh, collaboration, we should also make a bullet point that NGA should be made a member of the local organizing committee. Usually the committee meets three months before the event. We know every July 25th is the National Diaspora Day. Uh, Pre-COVID, it used to be a three to four days event. And I can see the exhibition you are talking about coming in. If we are having it for three or four uh, days, there should be an exhibition, you know, uh, uh, from the National Gallery of Arts and other people, even outside your own immediate uh, environment. So exhibitions at the day should also uh, be a bullet point under, under this. Uh, because of COVID, uh, last year and this year's celebration were by webinar. And so we limited, we, we had to follow the COVID-19 protocol 
guidelines for meetings. You can't have more than 50 people there. You can also have an exhibition. And it's a global event, usually. It's a global event. So I think uh, it's, in, it's in order. The Badagri Door of Return also, uh, which you mentioned, is also fantastic. Usually it's a stakeholder event with NITCOM, Lagos State uh, Government, and several, uh, the Badagri uh, Traditional Council, some NGOs, the private sector, and I think NGA should now be a member of it. You know, not just uh, doing exhibition and being a site, but um, uh, we should also put a, a bullet point that NGA should be brought as a stakeholder to participate with NITCOM at this particular event. Unfortunately, last year and also this year, we are not celebrating the Badagri Do of Return Festival due to the COVID-19 issues with travel. But it's our prayer that as the world gets vaccinated and travel is eased by next year, uh, we should be able to, to celebrate this. And it usually it's a two-week event, you know, where uh, there is a, a major component of the celebration in Badagri, where we have the door of no return, which we have now christened as the door of return, okay? And then also we choose one or two strategic uh, a, a place of interest to take our mainly our historic African diaspora. You know, there are two groups of diaspora. The historic African diaspora are those who are, 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 are grandchildren or great grandchildren of people that were taken out uh, 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 through slavery over 402 years ago. We have them in the Caribbean, in uh, North America, South America, Canada. Europe, North Africa, and uh, and something, and the the DNA technology uh, that has just been developed, a lot of them are be are able to trust themselves to their countries of origin and to their specific localities. In May this year, a lady, a Black American, traced her roots to Nigeria. Nigeria to Borno State, and despite the Boko Haram issues in Borno State, she went to Borno State and to her, the locality where her great great grandparents uh, came from. Wow. And she's so emotional about it, so attached, and she, she went and said she's coming back. She's coming back to invest, she's coming back to put something in her roots. Uh, the evangelist, Reverend T.D., Bishop T.D. Jacks, trace his roots to Imo State. Yeah. And uh, for two years, he was coming with a contingent of over 20 people to worry. Even the hotel bills they pay, that contingent, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's something to affect the economy. Ha! Huh. Not so fast. Look, I'm tired. I want to check out of this country for greener pastures. Just calm down for a moment. Please sit down. Do you have a job where you're going to? Uh, no, but someone is arranging, you know... Listen, uh, listen, listen, Alinko. Checking out of this country without proper planning means one thing. Unimaginable begin. Eh? You know, I've been in the diaspora, but legitimately doing great things at home and abroad. As I've been saying, without the proper footing abroad, the risk is not worth it. Listen, Alinko, it's better to be home than be trapped abroad or even end up in prison. Remember, if you must travel, travel legitimately. Now let's meet the diasporan of the moment. Our diaspora of the moment is Dr. Margaret Ebolua Aderi Pocock, MBE. Dr. Margaret was born in London on 9th of March 1968 to Nigerian parents Caroline Phillips and Justice Adebayo Aderi and was raised in Camden, London. 
Her middle name, Ebolua, stems from the Yoruba words Ebum, meaning gift, and Oluwa, meaning God, which is also a variant from the word Oluwabumi or Olubumi, meaning gift of God in Yoruba. Dr. Margaret is a British space scientist and science educator. She is an honorary research associate of University College London's Department of Physics and Astronomy. Since February 2014, she has co-presented the long-running astronomy television program, The Sky at Night, with Chris Lynn Todd. In 2020, she was awarded the Institute of Physics William Thompson Lord Kelvin Medal and Prize for her public engagement in physics. She is the first African woman to win a gold medal in the Physics News Award. She has also earned the title of the President-Elect of the British Science Association. Aderi Pocock was appointed a member of the Order of the British Empire in the 2009 New Year Honours for Services to Science Education. She also was awarded an honorary doctorate from Stratfordshire University in 2009 for contributions to the field of science and education. Aderi Pocock is committed to inspiring new generations of astronauts, engineers, and scientists, and she has spoken to approximately 25,000 children, many of them at inner city schools, telling them how and why she became a scientist, busting myths about careers, class, and gender. Through this, Aderi Pocock conducts tours of the universe which she set up to engage children and adults around the world in the wonders of space. She also helps encourage scientific endeavors of young people by being a celebrity judge at the National Science Engineering Competition. Thank you for staying all through the program. We hope it's been worth your while. And in case you have anything to share with us, please not hesitate to do so as we expect feedback on our show. Remember, you can reach us on all our social media platforms, on Facebook at Nigerians in Diaspora Commission, on Instagram at NITCOM underscore gov, on our YouTube page at NITCOM underscore gov, and on our website at www.nitcom.gov.ng. You can also join us on DSTV at NTA Network on Friday at 10.30 a.m on NTA International on Tuesday at 6 a.m. and 10.05 p.m., on NTA News 24 on Friday at 2.30 p.m., and on Sunday at 10.30 a.m. You can also join us on WAP TV on Thursdays at 9 a.m., and on WTV on Wednesdays and Sundays at 8 a.m. And you can join us on Ben TV London at 4.30 p.m. on Saturday. I remain your host, Coin Sola Adetumbi. See you next time. There is a lot of fake news and report.